Hi everybody, welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today I'm giving you a bookshelf tour. Nobody asked for this. Just a couple quick things. First of all, this is just going to be more of like an overview kind of. I'm not going into like detail of like every single book that I own, every like author, every little thing talking about everything in detail because this video would be like three hours long and nobody wants that. My camera battery doesn't want that. So we're not, it's not going to be that kind of bookshelf tour. It's going to be more of like a brief overview, but I still think this video might be kind of long. And also, I just wanted to kind of explain how my bookshelves are arranged. So first of all, I arrange them the best I can. Am I a hundred percent happy with the way they're arranged? No, but I'm like 90% happy with the way they're arranged. I don't move my books around very much. The last time I like arranged my books was when I built like these shelves next to me. Um, like I hardly ever move them around. Once I like have them in a place, I get used to looking at them there and I don't want them moved really. Um, I wish I had a TBR shelf. I don't have one of those. I really want one though. I just don't really have space for it right now. But what was I saying? Where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, the way my bookshelves are arranged. Um, so firstly, I like to arrange them by author. First, I like to keep all of my authors together. And then secondarily, secondly, they're arranged by like genre. So sometimes it's hard because if a certain author has like books in like two different genres, it's like, where do I put them? Do I keep all the authors together or like separate them by genre? So it makes it kind of hard. And that's part of the reason why I'm not completely happy with the way they're set up. Like, Certain books I feel like just don't belong together, but they do, so there's that. But I do the best that I can, so let us get started with the tour, shall we? So I guess we will just start with this shelf first. I know this is a bad angle. This is as high as my tripod would go. This is the best I can do. I'm sorry. But yeah, we'll start with this one first. So this shelf is directly above my head when I sleep, and there's a lot of books on here, so like it's not really the safest thing, but I think it, like my dad hung this up, and it's anchored in there really good. I think. But sometimes at night when I'm laying in bed, like, I'll hear, like, the wall creak or, like, one of these, and I'm just, like, and so I try to, like, scoot down the bed a little bit so that if it came crashing down, like, it wouldn't kill me. But anyway, so there are, like, a couple books missing from this shelf because they are borrowed out to a friend of mine, but anyway. First of all, I have this mug. This is my little, um, mug that came in my narnia book box and it says who needs turkish delight when you have tea i really like the shape of this one it's very unique but it's not one i've never used it because it talks about tea and i don't drink tea and i feel like you should only drink tea out of this so i just have it displayed and because it doesn't really it doesn't fit in the kitchen cabinet like we're out of cabinet space so anyway i just leave that sitting up there on display because it's cute and then i have um, my andrew clavin books up here and i do have a jill williamson book Mostly all of these left behind books. I have the adult series here and then I have the kids series. I This is basically the, um, the whole adult series but I am missing like two prequels I think there were. So I'm missing two of those and then I have only a small copy of book number one. I need like a full size but every time I see them at the thrift store I just don't feel like buying it because I do have a copy. It's just not the right size. So I can never quite bring myself to spend a dollar to get a full size copy. I don't know why. But then I also have like some like dystopian um and uh sci-fi stuff kind of. This um this all of this stuff is just kind of random. Um I think I just have them all up here together because like the color scheme it's a lot of like dark covers a lot of black covers so I feel like they kind of all look nice together so that's what this is. My left behind kids books do look really nice over here though. It's my favorite part of this shelf. All right and then the second shelf above my bed. This is what I call like my contemporary shelf. Most of it is contemporary fiction. Um, like I said, I do like to keep authors together to, though, and that kind of like messes me up sometimes because Chris McGee has contemporary fiction and like dystopian sci-fi, so it makes things kind of difficult. I have some uh, Janice Thompson, my Chris McGee, my Amy Clipson, my Erin Mangum, my Jenny B. Jones, other like random contemporary. I do have my little love inspired ones right here because I just think they fit nicely. And I do have these are really dusty. Um, I do have these Alice and Tebow books, which are fairy tale retellings, but I have them over here because they're the same size as my love inspired books and they just fit so perfectly. So that's why they're there. So yeah, my contemporary shelf, it's very colorful, very nice. And then I do have this candle my sister got me. 
a long time ago. And then this wooden pineapple just kind of leans against the wall right here. My tripod is balancing on my bed right now. It's very precarious. This is like the most awkwardly like situated filmed video I've ever made. Okay, so this shelf is to the, like, the, when you walk in my room, it's like to the back wall directly to the left of my window and desk. So this top shelf is my Dear America shelf. It's so pretty. I do have these little like pineapple bookends on each side that my grandmother gave me. I do have all of these organized in like what year they're set in. So this is like the oldest and then the most recent. So yeah. Next is like mostly my Melanie Dickerson shelf, but I also have some other like fairy tale retellings. These are organized kind of frustratingly and it's not exactly how I would want it ideally, but because like I have some of her books in hardback and then some in paperback, I don't like it being all like mismatched like a uh, paperback, hardback, hardback, paperback. So I just have like all my hardbacks up against the wall and then I go into my paperbacks. With that I also try to have them arranged by like publication date and series and all that good stuff. I feel like I'm breathing really heavy. I've been like jumping up moving all over the place really fast so just ignore that. And then I have this little pineapple paperweight that my grandmother gave me and this wooden letter C that I don't remember where I got this. I think I got it at like an antique store or a thrift store or something. So I just have this here kind of like holding my books in place. I was like way too zoomed in on those other clips. I apologize to myself. Um, okay, so this is kind of like, kind of my fantasy, sh fantasy shelf, kind of my favorites shelf. Also just kind of the color scheme, a lot of, again, like darker covers, black spines. So they all just feel like flow nicely, except for like a couple of them, but what can you do? So I have like the Ilion Chronicles, the Ravenwood Saga, the Crescent Stone by Mac Michelotto. So that one's kind of random, but it is fantasy, so it's here because I don't know where else to put it. Got my Chuck Black books. I am missing one right now, but and then the Ascendance series. I just feel like this shelf looks really nice for the most part. I would move a couple of these, but I just want to keep everyone together. I need to move the Crescent Stone though. This just does not vibe with the rest of them. It's really throwing off the flow. And then I do have this pineapple bookend, again, that my grandmother gave me. She supplies me with a lot of pineapple stuff and she just got me this bookend for Christmas. So it is here. And then I just have like some dried flowers that my nephew gave me sitting up here. And a guitar pick. Here is my Tolkien shelf it's very pretty i'm very proud of it my collection is growing i have this little jar of like shells from my last beach trip i do have reading vlogs of that trip in case you're interested but these are some shells that we found while we were down there i put it in an old like candle mason jar and this jar's so cute so i just have that sitting up there i have a little like baby yoda figure thing and his little like flying crib pod um, that my coworker got me for my birthday because she knows I love Baby Yoda. And then I have Orville, my aloe plant, who is dying. Not my fault, by the way. And then I have this new little succulent plant that I bought at Tractor Supply recently. So let's hope it survives. There's like three different ones. It came in this cute little pot. I'm trying to take care of it. So it lives right here. And then I have this candle, which I keep sitting here. It's a uh, Tahitian pineapple. Tahitian. Is that how you say that? But yeah, and then I have my Tolkien books. And I have, some of these are like duplicates, but they're in different editions. And it's very nice. It's so pretty. Okay, so here I do have my Nadine Brandes collection. A little book snuggie and some comic books. That's what I keep in this little basket. And then I have like some classics. My classics could not all fit on one shelf or in one cubby, so I do have two, this one and then this one. Um, these are like my fancy classics. I have some Barnes & Noble's collectibles and like some Jane Austen like special editions. If you come on down, I do have, this is kind of mostly like suspense, thriller stuff, but I do have a little bit of fantasy in there. And then actually there's more stuff behind this. If you pull all this stuff out, I think is all my like... Nancy Drew and like Hardy Boy stuff which I will probably never read so I just need to go ahead and get rid of it like it's just hiding back there I forget it's there I have more classics so I have like Emma I do have like Little Women hiding back there along with some more like Narnia books it's a different edition because um, I have two different editions of it um and then some more 
stuff. I have two Jane Eyres, and I don't know why, because I know, like, I've seen the movie, I didn't like it, my friend read the book, and she didn't like it, and I've read a different Bronte book, and I hated it, so, like, I know I'm gonna not, never read these, but yet I have two. Like, why? Down here, like, at the bottom in this basket is all of my, like, Narnia books. Um... Yeah, they're just in there. And over here at this other one, I have um, some middle grade. I have like my Trenton Lee Stewart, some other fantasy, some random uh, suspense over here, priceless. And then I have some stuff behind there. I have like more fantasy, some contemporary. It's really random back there. Like, I don't even know. Like what even is all back there? I totally forgot that a lot of this stuff existed. This is on the other side of my desk and window and I have nowhere to prop up my tripod high enough to get all this so I'm just holding it so I'm sorry if it's shaky. Anyway, this is like my Jeanette Oak shelf. All of this is Jeanette Oak. So I have her Love Comes Softly series, her spin-off series, the Canadian West, Return to the Canadian West. I have this little like wooden thing that says happiness is a cup of coffee and a good book super cute i think i got this from my parents for like my birthday one year my arms are tired okay and then you come down and this is like my historical shelf western shelf lots of different stuff some sunrise books some middle grade there's another nielsen there's all kinds of stuff in there this little clock from my grandmother if you didn't guess um little pineapple clock goes with the pineapple bookends that she got me it was like a whole set there's more stuff that goes with it, but I have nowhere to put it. Then you come down. I cannot breathe. Okay. I'm going to put you back on a tripod. Hold on. Okay. So here I have my, the biggest mug that I own. I keep all of my bookmarks in because it's the only one big enough to like hold all of them. And I have a lot of bookmarks as you can see. I'm also using this as a bookend to hold up my books. This is like my continuation of like my historical shelf, but I also have like some Amish fiction, more historical stuff and some biblical fiction. Here's another mug. I keep this one just sitting out for decoration because it's too nice to use. I'm so scared I'm gonna break it. It's like really fragile. Isn't it beautiful? So I just keep that up here. Then if you just come down a little bit, I have no books right here, but I'll still just show you what's on it because it is a bookshelf. I have like these little Lego figures. Here's Mando and Baby Yoda in his pod. And then I have like this little origami butterfly that my friend made me and sent to me in the mail. Then I have this little canvas that my sister got me ages ago it has some 37.4 on it this picture frame me and my sister and then this cool little neon pineapple light that i just got for my birthday from my friend and i it's so cool i don't have batteries for it right now but i can also plug it into my laptop it's not even showing up like as good on camera as it is in real life it's cool love it so here i do have mostly like a lot of like non-fiction stuff and like my bibles and everything so i did have to put some fiction in here just because i ran out of space in the back i have all of my hardback non-fiction stuff the hiding place some brother andrew stuff max lucato jensen franklin random stuff i have this little thing i don't know this came in a book box and it's like a little jar with fairy lights let me get it turned on and then i have some more non-fiction stuff in this little basket yeah it's all that stuff. Get a good look at that. All of my camera batteries died, so I am using my phone now. Yay. Love that. But we're down to, like, these shelves right here. We're almost done. All right, so here is where I keep, like, most of my Bibles. Um, I have, like, some devotionals. I have a, like, songbook in here. Um, the Action Bible. I keep them all in this little basket, which I think is super cute. Love it. Um, I have my... Yeti microphone which I keep stored here and then I have some other like hardbacks. I have some Caesar Milan and then down here is my movies and back behind these I actually have like CDs. I have all of like those CDs back there. You can kind of see them. It's really dark. Um, all of those CDs and then my movie collection. It's a lot of fantasy and Jane Austen as you can see. And then here, this is a little empty space because that is actually where I store like my camera and the light that hooks onto it and stuff. And I was using that, so it's not there now. Um, but I also have like this little random book of coffee. I have this like thing, which I used to put like all my sermon notes in it. And then I have like my little kids books. I don't have much. I have three, but that's where I keep those. And then lastly, I will go ahead and show you this. Um, my nightstand is pretty much a mess, so just ignore that. This is where I keep like my library books and my Bible stuff that I'm currently reading and like a candle and like a bunch of junk. So there you go. 
So that is the end of my bookshelf tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Bye.